Okay, so next we're going to pick up from where we left off last night. We're going to try to get through this chapter book, and hopefully my Ramona books will be coming soon. This, the Scent Society. Suddenly, the olfactory back door flew open and in billowed an amazing variety of fl flowy fragrances. Surrounded by this scented cloud, there were three plump, powdered women. They were wearing pastel suits while glo white gloves and golden pins in the shape of an S. Gilbert saw his uncle quickly look around for a hidden place just as the leader of the group stepped forward. But it was too late. Snifton, Schnorter, there you are, dear. The perfumed woman greeted Dr. Schnorter loudly and extended her gloved hand. Miss, L Miss Lily, how are you? Dr. Schnorter said, reluctantly taking her hand. A second later, Gilbert saw why his uncle had been cautious. Miss Lily pulled him to her and crushed him in a huge powdery bear hug. Oh my. <laughs> It's good to see you, sniffed him, she said, finally releasing him. Suddenly, her nostrils flared, and she lifted her thinly plucked eyebrows. The other two women covered their noses with their gloved hands. Oh, my goodness, said Miss Lily, sniffing cautiously. What in the world has happened here? I'm afraid there has been a break-in, exclaimed Dr. Schwarter. Our odors are all mixed up. But Gilbert and Whiff are working on restoring everything. He added quickly, Gilbert raised a hand in greeting carefully, not to extend too far. Thank goodness, Miss Lily said with distaste. Maybe that is why we found this in our rose garden. She gingerly held out a sealed odor bag. As you know, Snifton, we members... Of the ladies sent society volunteer our time to keep the city smelling fresh naturally we were offended to find this this foul deposit in our garden she lowered her voice to a whisper it's doggy doo doo woof said whiff <laughs> Gilbert stepped forward I can take that for you ma'am what a well-mannered young gentleman Miss Lily gave Gilbert a warm smile Gilbert transferred the offensive odor from the baggie to the clean bottle. There they are. She's like, yeah, look what I found in the garden. I'm guessing French toy poodle whiff, he said quietly. He's smelling what kind of poo it is. They checked the odor detector re readout. Yorkshire Terrier kibbles and bits, it reported. Pretty close, whispered Gilbreth. Oh, Snifton, dear, Miss Lily was still talking. I also wanted to notify you of the newest Scent Society campaign. We are distributing warning labels that, we, that will save sensitive noses from harmful inhaling. Warning labels, Miss Lily. Oh, yes, Snifton. Uh, a G rating guarantees the odor is appropriate for general noses even highly sensitive ones like our own miss lily turned to the other ladies who patted their noses with their gloved hands a peachy rating suggests pro probo sticks <laughs> guidance to guide unsure noses and an r is clearly repulsive I see, said Dr. Schwarter. Well, thank you for bringing the misplaced odor, Ms. Lily. If you will please excuse us, we have quite a cleanup job to do. As you can smell, please let us know if you find any other, uh, any other scent out there. Oh, we certainly will, sniffed in right, ladies. Ms. Lily smiled and offered her silky glove hand to Dr. Schwarter, has hesitated. Dr. Schroeder hesitated. He tried careful handshake, but found himself again smothered in a great powdery hug. You can come count on the Scent Society to keep our city smelling fresh, said Miss Lily as she released the crumpled odorologist. Crumpled as he's like all twisted, knotted up now. 
Yes, I'm sure we can, said Dr. Schwarter, showing them the door. Oh, and Snifton, dear, Miss Lily added, have a marvelous birthday. Ta-ta. Gilbert exchanged glances with Whip. Look at all torn up from that hug. All right, we'll get to chapter six in the next video.